Get up there. Come on. Oh, hello there. And welcome to Cooking with Kev, the cooking show where I, Kev, cook, um, cooking with. Today on Cooking with Kev, <clears throat> today on Cooking with Kev, I, <laughs> this is a cooking show. I, I cook. Cooking. Make food. I mean, if you want to go in a different direction, we can we could try that. But, you know, I've I've got I've got this dish towel for a reason. It's, it, it's for using in the kitchen. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Today on Cooking with Kev, we're going to be using a industrial heat gun to remove the scratches from the interior side panels of the doors of my automobile. Which is kind of like cooking when you think about it because you're applying heat to something and that thing is softening and becoming better than it was when you started. So, <clears throat> It's kind of like cooking. <laughs> so stick around. there. Welcome back to Cooking with Kev. And this is a very special episode where we're going to do some repair work on my car. And here we are in my car. The whole crowd of us, the whole uh, film crew is here uh, that work behind the scenes on the show. So it's very tight quarters. Uh, the sound guys down there uh, on the floor. And my cameraman, of course, as you can probably tell from the angle of the shot, is actually... Um, up on the dashboard. Hey, how you doing up there? That's good. He's short anyway. It's fine. So, this is a Hyundai Accent uh, 2007. It's a hatchback. It's a pretty good car. Uh, Betsy, to those who are in the know. I, I love small cars. Small cars are my thing. Because if you have a small car, you can get into small places. Like parking spaces which is really important. You don't have to worry so much about hitting another car. Not only that, because it's a hatchback, if you take the seats and put them down and open up the hatchback, there's actually quite a lot of room in here, uh, which is why I'm able to get uh, most of the film crew in here. There's a couple of the of film crew that are outside. They couldn't fit in. Um, and I just want to publicly apologize to those crew members. It is a little bit chilly out, uh, but don't worry, we won't take too long filming this episode. So, we're going to be using this to fix the scratches on my interior car side panels uh, of the automobile. You may notice I'm not wearing my traditional gray turtleneck. This is different. We're doing automotive repair here. So I think it's important to wear the traditional, uh, you know, plaid shirt and rough and tumble hoodie. Uh, not only that, if we're going to be doing something, we've got to change up the dishcloth to a microfiber towel. Okay, 
Let's have a look at that interior car door panel. Okay, here is my interior door panel. Now it is a bright and sunny day out, so I've got a little bit of glare, but I think if you look carefully and if I get a little closer, you can see some of those scratches. It is well and truly scratched up. I'd like to blame the little old lady who owned this car before me, but honestly, a lot of it's from me. You know, there are times when you lock yourself out of your car and then you have to spend two panicked hours with a metal coat hanger to try to catch that latch. And this is what happens. You get lots and lots of scratches before you make, uh, before you end up getting your car open. So, let's see what happens when I apply heat to this. I'd like to say I'm optimistic about what's about to happen, but I'm not. Okay, we're gonna do a little test right here on that scratch. This thing's gonna get pretty loud, so um, maybe uh, our sound guy can dub in some music or something. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, unbelievably, and it's kind of hard to see, but this is actually working. Check that out. Check that out. Now there's some discoloration there. That's only because as the heat is applied to the plastic, uh, basically the plastic is restoring its shine. So what you want to do is make sure to do this over the whole thing uh, so you have an even shine. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, cut the video so I can keep working. This is going to take a while because there's a lot of scratches. And then I'll come back and we'll do a little before. I'm kind of shocked and amazed. Okay, here we go. All right, here we are. Time for the big reveal. I was very surprised how well this worked. Uh, in fact, I was expecting it not to work at all, despite what I saw on the internet and on YouTube of people trying this technique. I thought, no, it's not going to work, Kevin. You're going to come out here, you're going to put a lot of effort in, and you're just going to go back inside and watch some Netflix. But it works. The only thing is, you have to keep moving the heat gun. You can't leave it in one place for too long because there's a possibility of the plastic or the um, vinyl bubbling up, which is what you want to avoid. Um, so you have to keep it moving. And it's a little heavy and it's awkward in here. So my hand got really, really tired. I had to switch positions a few times. And because of the severity of the uh, scratches on the interior of my car, both doors, and also a little bit on the, the dash that I want to take care of, I decided to stop there for now. I did about a half hour's worth, um, which is enough because it shows me that it actually works. It's a little bit chilly outside. Uh, so I'm gonna wait um, until a nicer day and come out and do a little bit more. And you know what? This is my own car. It's not like I'm doing this for somebody else. I'm not on a time limit. Uh, it's a, a slow process of restoring these. And I, I don't mind taking my time uh, if it saves me from getting um, carpal tunnel syndrome. All right, so let's have a look at the panel and see what the after is like. Okay, a little bit difficult to tell because of light and glare, but this is the after so far on um, this part, uh, which turned out the best in terms of getting rid of scratches. There's still some scuff marks here and there, but it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, there's one that I can tell right there coming up on the camera. The part that was the worst is this part right here. You can see all those little scuffs. Um, and lots of little gouges. Those I haven't been able to take care of, uh, but some of the scratches, I think, once I come back to this job, sorry about the glare, once I come back to this job and uh, do a little bit more work, 
it'll probably be much better. Oh, welcome back. And welcome to a very special postscript to episode 15, Car Detailing. Many months have gone by since the filming of that episode. My beard has grown, my hair has gotten grayer, I even lost the jacket that I was wearing. But, the turtleneck abides. Have I gone back to that project? Have I finished it? The answer is no. Why? Laziness? Maybe a little, but really, it didn't work. The video you just watched is a lie. The quality of light on that day in my car kind of tricked me as to the amount of uh, discoloration on the panels. In fact, it looks worse now, I think, uh, than when I started. Really, what I need to do is just take the panels off completely, uh, sand them down, and then paint them. Do an entire restoration of the interior. That's the only way. Will I do that? Probably not. You know, we try different things, and we look at YouTube, and sometimes things don't work out. Hmm. Well, join me next time on Cooking with Kev when we cook, maybe? Show you how to paint a fantasy miniature? Or maybe just do uh, some Minecraft live stream? I don't know, but still have my Game Boy, and I love some Game Boy. So, um, we'll see you next time.